Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We talking a Kelvin Johnson extension? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about, San Antonio. That's what I'm talking, Brian Wright. You have to be proactive. Get ahead of the game so you're not screwed again by the market. <laughs> Make no mistake, this extension is by design because the Spurs are learning from their mistake with the John Shea Murray because they did not give him the extension he potentially deserved. You gotta get ahead of the market, not be on your heels when the market comes knocking on you. Now that's how you're supposed to shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. I've been saying it for weeks. The DeJounte Murray trade was at its foundation a mistake on the Spurs part because they did not anticipate Murray's growth. Now that's not an easy thing for you to do. This wasn't Murray the man in the trade. This wasn't the Spurs being unhappy with Murray. When you looked at the numbers, they were way below the market because the original extension was not fair towards Murray's potential. This deal with Kelvin Johnson proves that the Spurs are learning from their mistakes. Kudos to them. We're in the clear. Because Kellen Johnson this year, coming into this year, he was worth, you know, he was eligible for a $32 million extension. And the Spurs managed to get him at $20 million, which is a steal potentially. Because the market have several players making well over 20. If you think about like a Christian Wood from Houston that recently just got traded, he's making 15. He's due for a 25 million upgrade. When you think about players like, you know, Bam Amadio, he's making 30. You Draymond Green is making 25. You see what I'm saying? You have to get ahead of the market. And I'm not saying Keldon is on the level of those guys, but you have to kind of try to get ahead of the game and predict what he's potentially worth. You may be a few million under, you may be a few million over, but you won't be in the situation you were with DeJounte Murray where you're $10 million off. And I want Spurs fans to really think about this. You know, Murray was making 16 mil a year. His extension would have put him around 22, 23 mil a year, okay? That's only three more million than Kellen Johnson. Now, when you look at Kellen Johnson not knocking him, he has not had near the production that DeJounte Murray has had for the San Antonio Spurs, even if it was only in a year or two. You know, with DeRozan, he averaged the 15, seven and six. Then he took it to the next level, the 21, nine and eight. When you look at those numbers, how do you justify paying that man $23 million in a market that's playing, you know, uh, DeAndre Fox and Sacramento, you know, 30 plus million. You see what I'm saying? And it's not necessarily about reaching the 30 plus million, but good God, can we at least give him 26? And it looks like the Spurs have learned from that mistake and they're getting ahead of the game and they're up in their extensions. Also, a lot of the fandom has an issue with clutch sports, and I understand it to an extent because of the Marcus Morris incident, but I think that's more reflective of Marcus Morris and not necessarily cut sports. Clutch sports is cutthroat. They're aggressive. They do what they have to do to get their client the best money possible. You have to put yourself in the player's shoes. You're hiring an organization that's going to take a lot of your money, by the way, a big percentage of whatever you sign. You want dogs. You want cutthroat people. You want aggressive lawyers. Just like you want that if you were in an injury case. Just like you would want that if you were going through a divorce. Just like you would want that if you had to have a lawyer for legal pr proceedings. It's the same thing. Don't let the millions, don't let the fame distort what common sense is. So here we are. We have an example of clutch sports working with Kelvin Johnson and the San Antonio Spurs to get a fair deal according to the market. Going out of days are the discounts. Going out of the days are the just, you know, great guys willing to take less. No, pay market value if you want to have this player, period. Also, you got to remember that Duncan and Robinson, those who took less, Manu 
and Parker, those who took less, had multiple streams of income. Mono huge in Argentina. Parker huge in France. D Rob has several endorsements. Duncan has several endorsements. So they can take less. And also the Spurs were in position to offer them a chance to win championships. It's easier to take less when you're winning. We're not in the winning league right now. We're not even in the playoffs for the last couple years. So yo, you have to pay at least market value or try to get ahead of it like Brian. Ryan Wright did with Kelvin Johnson. So shout out to him. All right, guys, this is it for this one. Thank you for kicking it with me, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.